Hey everyone, so here's a question on algebra and the question here is subtract minus x square plus 6xy from 8x square minus 4xy plus 12. So they're asking to remove the first expression from the second one. So first we're going to write down the second expression and from there we're going to subtract the first expression. So I'm going to show you both the way that is how to do by the horizontal method and the column method or the vertical method. So first I'm going to show you the horizontal method. So we're going to write down the second expression that is 8x square minus 4xy plus 12 first and from here we're going to subtract so we're going to put minus sign and in the bracket write down the first expression that is minus x square plus 6xy. The main thing here is we have a minus outside the bracket so it's like you're multiplying a minus sign throughout the bracket here or you can just consider there's a 1 present there. So minus 1 you're multiplying throughout the bracket or you just multiply minus. So the first expression we're going to write down each term as it is. So it's 8x square minus 4xy plus 12. Now we're going to start multiplying with minus. So minus into minus is plus. So we'll get plus x square. Then minus into plus is minus. So minus 6xy. Now I'm going to start solving by taking the like term. So 8x square and x square, they are the like term. So 8, 8 plus 1 will be 9. So x square, the coefficient will be 1. It will become 9. So 9x square. Now we have a minus 4xy and we have a minus 6xy. So xy is a variable which is uh, common here. So minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10. So minus 10xy. And then 12 is the only constant left out. So plus 12. So this was a horizontal method. The same thing I want to show you how to do with the column method or the vertical method. So the first expression I'm going to write down is 8x square minus 4xy plus 12. So from here we have to remove this first expression which is given there. So we have to just write down the like term below the like term. So first I have a minus x square. So you put minus x square. So this is a subtracting. So that's why I put a minus sign. So it's minus x square and then plus 6xy. Write down below the minus 4xy. We don't have any constants. So you can put 0 over there. Now subtract it. The very important thing is when you're subtracting uh, two expression, the second one, the, ex the signs of the second expressions will change here because you're multiplying with minus sign. So it's a minus will become plus, plus will become minus. So you can see the minus x square, it will become plus. From plus 6x square, it will become minus. And the last one is a plus, it will become negative. So these are the signs we have to consider by solving, not the previous one. Now 8x square plus x square will be 9x square. See, I'm taking the new signs which we have taken. Now minus 4xy and then minus 6xy. It become minus 10xy. Minus 4 minus 6 is minus 10. And then xy. And then plus 12 and then minus 0 is again 12. It's plus 12. So you can see that we got same answer. So it's on you which method is easy. Go for that. So that's it. I hope it's clear. In case you have any question or doubts, you can drop a comment below. Thank you so much for watching.